Somebody say it's 804 Malcolm. Are you serious? <laughs> That's what y'all gonna say. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on, everybody? Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Address the Mess show. With MC Shaker. This is our official tea party. Do y'all got your teacups? Y'all got do y'all got your mugs? Get your mugs from the sip shop. Y'all could there's some stuff, there's some stuff down here that y'all could see. This live is sponsored in part by Sip Cosmetics, our new line that's coming out. Let me show y'all. Bitch Hazel. Uh -huh. Coming out soon. Um, actually, Saturday is the uh, the launch date for pre-orders. Let me put my bonnet on. Excuse me. Got to get the submission on it. Got to put it on. Because, girl, it's heavy today. It is really, really heavy today. So, oh, child. So today we're going to get into the kaleidoscope kids and the concentration camp that those poor children are in. Today we have some exclusive inside looks at what it is that they have to go through as far as what, what, what the intricacies of how that is set up. And um, if y'all don't know, the kaleidoscope kids is a, is a, a marketing brand that is operated by none other than the real BB Judy. The real BB Judy, as y'all know, is my homegirl. Uh, I said she's my homegirl. She probably doesn't say the same thing right now, but my homegirl. Um, and that's her. Well, so that's 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 her. And so what we're gonna hear is from her voice what the Kaleidoscope Kids was meant to do, what is it for, and what's going on with it as far as it is. The Kaleidoscope Kids, as you know, signed the one and the only very famous James Tucker, little James Tucker, a young man that went viral like 1,700 times, uh, and his mother. So we're going to get into all that. And um, that's what we're going to do today. Again, this is make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Uh, make sure y'all subscribe. I need y'all to subscribe. You got to get subscribers up. Make sure you like the video as you come in and um, get y'all cups ready. All y'all mugs. I'm selling stuff. Oh, yes. All y'all mugs. <laughs> but all the mugs. When I sip, you sip. Just like that. That's how we're doing it. So let's, um, let's get into it. Cause child is heavy. So what? It, so let's look at let's let's first let's just start this off with the kaleidoscope kids and what it, it says is meant to do. So it says here that the kaleidoscope kids this is, is is to feature cute kids, their great hair products and talent, which makes it seems like a good thing. You know, as far as Judy, how she builds her brand, she builds her brand on, you know, as far as being a guy fearing woman and and, and trying to help the kids and and these, these babies are cute. I swear to God, I love them. I love the kids. That is so pretty. And, and it seems like a unique thing to do. Um, is it marketing genius? However, so it's, it's marketing genius because people who tend to make the decisions about children are the parents. We make the decision for the for the children. And so um, what happens is, so we see these cute kids and we're like, okay, we want our children to look this cute. Let's get some of these products. And that's what, what it is. We put them on our kids. Hey, and that's what happens. So she makes a business. So this is a business move for her that she solicits children. And at one time, Colorado School Kids had over 50 children. And so let's hear what I want to do first is I want to play an exclusive, I'm an exclusive audio. When the Colorado School Kids started um, last year, as far as starting to solicit children, it was a big hit. Everybody was on it. We loved it. There was some stuff. I'm not going to talk about the issue dealing with the, the, the drowning child that has been talked about and discovered and just talked about on some other blogs. That's something I don't want to talk about. But what I do have for us today is exclusive audio of a conference call between Big Boy and Judy and the mothers of about 50 of the Kaleida School kids. And so I have literally the exclusive audio. Nobody else has it. I've also put, so I'm going, I've trimmed it down to about five minutes of audio 
but it's over an hour long and I have put a link to the entire audio in the description below. So if you're looking at this video after we're airing live, the entire audio will be up there. But this is what, and this is in her words. So we're gonna play the audio right now in regards to that. I'm gonna make sure y'all can hear it, but this is up. So I've trimmed it down to about five minutes just to get into what it is that the, from her words, and this is her voice, that the Kaleidoscope Kids is supposed to do. So let's get into that. Welcome. This service is provided by freeconferencecall.com. Please enter your access code followed by the pound or hash sign. Uh, it's, it's kind of cool to be on a call. Hey, y'all. Hi. Hi. Hey, this is the COVID mom. I found the wrong number. Um, so, we did send out packages over the last two weeks. Um, uh, your tracking number was sent in your email. Um, you should have, most of you guys should um, have seen yours by today. Um, so that would have been our I never see the tracking number in my email. Me either. Okay. Yeah, me either. Uh, if you didn't receive it in, uh, Pardon me. So the first issue they addressed it is that everybody that was uh, selected to be a Kaleidoscope kid was going to get a package in the mail. And the first thing is the parents talking about they didn't get the tracking numbers, they didn't get the email, they didn't get the package. That's the first thing. Um, oh, hey. Hold on. Um, most of you guys um, received yours by today. Um, so that was our third. I never received a tracking number Me in either. my email. Me either. Okay. Yeah, neither. Uh, if you didn't receive it in uh your regular folder, check your spam folder. Um, if you don't receive anything by Saturday, then you can follow up with us through the email and then we can check on your traffic to see exactly where it's at. Um, based off of how sound, because I want I want for everybody to have a full understanding of what this is. This movement is gonna be a positive movement and I'm gonna add kids with the track kids is necessary as well. I am, I am playing as a gateway, a door opener. Okay, so that's the first thing that bothered me. When she came on there and she said, I will add and subtract kids as necessary. These are kids. They're going to be kids. They're going to be kids. You promised these kids. And let's get into we Let's see what she promised them. But and we're going to get into that. Heavy. So you, you, go, you add the kids and subtract the kids. as ne- So the kids. How can you just say, okay, you, you're a crayon cutie? I'll say, excuse me, I'm so sorry. Super must be wearing a body talking about me. But, um, but there are cut out of kids, and you have literally said that the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna subtract them if I need to. Basically, if they don't do what I tell them to do. Get, let's get into As it. As a liaison for your kids the opportunity. In this growth, I mean in this process, what I expect everybody to do is work how they've been working. And that way on our Kalada Kids platform and all of the states that we promote them that they get assisted from other people that you guys might be able to work with in the future. Also for the things that we have, like, you know, because we get our opportunities as well, whether it's the kids or big things, whatever whatever it may be, we, we pass that on, but we pass that on according to the performance of the kids that we work with already. But- okay. So basically she's saying, the more you promote Kaleidoscope, the more you and your children promote Kaleidoscope, the more opportunity is going to come for you. That's, that's what it is. going to be able to give that to y'all, but at the end of the day, it's 50. So if we have mm-hmm. something that comes up and it's five children, then it's going to be the five. We either going to put it in a group and say, hey, who wants this opportunity? And we have to kind of pick out of that. Or it's going to have to be the person, like the people that came with the opportunity, they're going to pick out. You know what I'm saying? So I don't, I don't want to turn into even the, the, uh, the weekly assignments and the student of the month. I don't want this to turn into something competitive, something negative, or anything like it. The whole reason for the platform, the whole reason for this whole movement is to have positive energy, to have a great team, to have to have a support system for mothers, and so that it can be something that, that grows every... So this is for to have a, be a positive movement, a support system for mothers, and all this other stuff, yet you're going to take the kids out if they don't promote your products, right? If they don't promote the... <laughs> if, if you don't promote Kaleidoscope enough, you out of here. But this is for mothers in the positive positive girl. Stop it. 
every kid individually into whatever direction that they want to go. Get your mother. Whatever direction they want to go. Because once you start working within your own, like within your own passion, yeah. within your own realm, that's going to sign you. Yes, I am. Yes. 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 So, you got so let's look into this. So she's saying, okay, look, I'm acting like it's a liaison. I'm gonna put your kids on the platform, put your kids on the page. I'm gonna do this stuff like this. If they're promoting the Kaleidoscope school products, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that. Do that. And if an opportunity come, I'm gonna give it to them, depending on how they promote the Kaleidoscope. school. Their kids. Their kids. Oh, I have a quick lot. We're doing, we doing, we doing weekly homework assignments. The time to get us um, get the first on Sunday. You have a week to do it. And then we have a student of the month. And then the student of the month went. All right. So that was a good thing in a sense. So basically, she was assigning homework assignments to the kids. Um, hopefully, I didn't get a chance to get a, uh, an attachment to one of the homework assignments. I was trying to get that before uh, press time, and I did not get availability to that. But I thought that was okay because, you know, the kids need to get the education. So at least you're not thinking inside the box. Um, one of the parents did send it to me and said that the the, the, kid, the assignment was kaleidoscope in nature. So, uh, so I don't know if you're trying to brainwash the kids into thinking that the, the miracle drop is so wonderful or what. But like you know, like a, a, yeah, yeah. Okay, then I'll be able to say. No, we Y'all have no idea. The song is so cute. It is so phenomenal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to have active kids in a video so so listen she's saying don't take pictures so this is the part where going to where she so they had a weekly homework assignments and at the end of the month the kid that did the best on homework assignment was supposed to get a prize so you're telling the kids do your homework and get a prize that's good i don't have a problem with that it, and, and so i want to point it out because we're gonna get into that later let's get dive into one thing at a time but let's go that's exposure too like if i have an instagram friend that's doing a video but they need a title the first person i'm gonna say is one of my kids for those that are not as uh, creative as others, will that affect us? Because some people just take pictures. Or okay, so listen. So one of the parents asked, okay, I am as creative. Would it affect me if I don't do the videos that you asked me to do about kaleidoscope? Or one of the, or can I just take a picture of my kaleidoscope? Or what did I do? This is what Judy's response to, to was that. Listen or to like just regular videos, like we need to go So I don't want to talk to Cody Cody. So basically, she told the woman, Well, you need to get creative. We don't want <laughs> ain't no car scope, no pictures. We want videos. We want true. We want people to get kids are cute. We want to see baby. You better hold that kaleidoscope and hold like she became Joe Jackson to other people's kids. You gonna sing this song like I told you this thing. And you give this video like I told you to do it, and that's what you're gonna do. So that is exclusive audio from her herself saying what she wanted from the Kaleidoscope kids. She wanted them to promote the products, and in turn, she would make their dreams come true by giving them opportunities and roots. Like I said, the entire audio is in the description below, so you can see the whole. It's an hour-long seminar that she is telling the parents: Look, take videos, make them cute, make sure they have the kaleidoscope products. The more you promote kaleidoscope, the more we're gonna put into this. The more we're gonna do, the more we're gonna do, the more we're gonna do, more we're gonna do, whatever, whatever. She basically gave these kids a job, and in return, the promise was of opportunity. All right, that only precludes from the most famous. Kaleidoscope kid of them all, arguably, all of them, all of them are cute, but one of the most famous and most viral Kaleidoscope kids was this young man right here. And I'm going to pull it up. Just give me a second. Oh, crap. I, I, don't, know, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, 
pardon me, let me put it out. <laughs> let, me, let me get it out. This, excuse me, how I write, work this program? I don't know everything. So the most famous kaleidoscope kid of all that we know, that if you don't know him, there you go. All right. So let me, um, I'm just, because I was dragging and dropping. Was this all right, James? <laughs> How many of y'all remember this? Okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. So, um, I believe it. This I touched me, though. I would love to work with you. I would love to be able to uh, work with you for a long time and help you out. I would love to be able to work with you long term. So, James, is that okay? The plan is to, um, to bake him because he's very talented and I, I and we talked you know and you kind of told me a little bit about your story so I would love to be the person that can help you in getting him out there because he's so talented and he's just his reach is what I know it can be so I would just love to step in to be able to do everything that I can y'all got your mugs go all your mugs and bake him Every dollar that I have. Go to your mother. Sip shop. Go to your mother. Just What a cash. This was touching to me. This was so touching. This was so touching to me. Y'all bought some miracle drops after this. They crying. They, it's real tears. This is a real tears. So listen. He she told the mama. Quit your job. I got you. <laughs> so I said, not me. Yes, the mama did quit her job. She told the mama, look, he's so talented. I want to bring him to the next level. I got you. Quit your job. Y'all heard that? Hold on. Let's, let's, let me hit. Let, I'm going to let y'all make sure. Okay, let's back it up just a little bit. That's the point I was looking for. So she told Lil James. My, the, the, the most famous of the Collider School kids, she told him to, she told her, quit your job. Here you go. I got you. We about to put you on. Don't do no tripping. Quit your job. Don't worry about it. You was a Collider School kid. Quit your job. Shortly after this, we came across my desk. We didn't hear nothing about the Collider School kids for a long time. We didn't hear nothing about Lil James for a while. But somebody on the outside looking in, we thinking, oh, they're living a life of life, of life of luxury. 
So what came across my desk was this. Let me go into it. Let's get into it. So what happened to the Kaleidoscope School Kids? This seems like a great opportunity for not only the kids, but it seems like, a, especially for Lil James and, and everybody. If the mama could quit her job, the Kaleidoscope School Kids, y'all get these opportunities, everything is going to come for y'all, all these wonderful things about to happen. What happened? Where is the opportunities that you promised these kids and their parents? Where is it at? So, okay, let us let me let me pull this up right quick. This is an email. And I'm going to read it out to y'all from one of the Kaleidoscope mothers. Oh, crap. I, uh, I was supposed to block this woman's name out. Pardon me. Let me just put something there to block her name out. All right. <laughs> All right. My bad. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Where is girl? Where is my screen? Oh, there. You go. Well, that's a oh fuck. All right. <laughs> Excuse my language. All right. Let's let's let me let me play it. All right. So it says the stuff that I said was a recording from when we first talked, and there were several parents and kids on the conference call that Judy and her staff. The other stuff. Okay, some more stuff. The other stuff when she told us not to contact Roro Brown, which is. Royalty Browns. Royalty Browns is a company that actually manufactures stuff too. And, and, and does like promotion and stuff like that. Because she was getting a deal, but she never got back with us to work with them, which stopped a lot of us from getting posted in the page. The company, the World War Brown company, reached out to Kalai School moms several times. But this mom in particular was scared to talk to them because of Judy. She told him in a message, and we got the message here, don't talk to him. In the recording, she told us she was getting everyone under one roof in December. And this woman's daughter was looking forward to it. So the kids looking forward to, you know, doing this. But then she cut several kids December night after she told him on Facebook Live to promote her company for Black Friday. So the kids who you promised this, doing their homework, getting their life, you know, telling them, okay, you're going to be part of this. You're going to post it on a page. You're going to do this. But you also tell them, okay, but well, you got to promote for Black Friday. She cut a lot of them, the kids that didn't do it. So if you're doing this for the kids to promote, or you're doing this out there, or you doing this because you really care about the kids. If you're doing it for the kids to promote, fine. But pay them a tangible wage, not dangling in their face the, the oh, I'm gonna give you opportunity. No, give them money to promote. Give them the money that you would give an influencer. What I charge on Instagram post, just say for instance, it's thirty five dollars a post. Give them kids thirty five dollars. Give them four dollars. Don't say oh, I'm gonna give you an opportunity. And when they don't see anything, what they do is like what the, what the hell? I'm gonna just get the homework. I even get the prize at the end of the month. All right. So I was we t I, I did look at the Facebook. Like it was nothing. There was there was she was telling them that she was gonna get them kids jobs doing other stuff. Why would you text me? And I'm you're in here. Probably the person who's texting me. So just get cool out. You're not giving me no new information. I got this. Let me do this. I'm going to turn my phone up in two seconds. I know you're texting me. Hold on. Let me do me. I, li listen. I'm the bitch that invented bitch hazel. <laughs> I got this. Let me let me pluck this duck. Hold on. I got this. We're going to nail it to the wall tonight. <laughs> Don't trip. Let me, let me do this. So let me do this. All right. So we were told to do homework assignment every week, promoting her stuff. The homework assignments was actually not necessarily homework assignments per se, but it was kaleidoscope related homework assignments. So she wanted people to take pictures. The kids take pictures doing her kaleidoscope color books and all this other stuff like that. But the but she cut kids for doing for not doing homework assignments. They all thought the parents thought they were going to get real context, real stuff. They thought it was going to get real products and be a part of a real movement. And all they got was cut if they didn't say kaleidoscope, kaleidoscope, kaleidoscope. They didn't get talked to, they didn't get nothing. They certainly didn't get any money. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. All right. So hold on. I got to pull something up. It get heavy. And we're going to get into it. Stay with me because then. Wow. So this is her. Why is this small like that? All right, make it. Real. This is Judy. So the, the parents was in the group message asking them, "What's going on? 
what, what's, what's, what's this? These people, you know, these people want to work with us. These people want to do stuff. Judy was telling them, don't reach out until I get our best deal. She's putting the fear of God with him. Like, I'm going to kick y'all out the group and let y'all do what I say. Let me get the deal going. I had to block out some stuff because you know why. Anonymity. I don't. I never reveal my sources. So this is her dangling some more stuff in front of the parents' eyes. Royalty Brown is the Robo Brown. Okay. And so this is her saying, I'm going to show y'all. Look, I'm trying to get y'all a deal. Calm down. I'm going to do, let me get a, a deal. This is all inside information between her and the Care Kara Kid's parents. So one of the parents, what they did was the smart thing to do and was like, they re always oh, the wrong thing, my bad. <laughs> I'm getting a little, I'm getting a little excited, girl. You know what T come, girl. You know how I get, girl. Y'all know how I get. Y'all know how I get too. When the T hot like this, girl, you know how I get. So this is a company that actually represents Royal, Royalty Brown. Let's get into what they're saying. Make this big. All right. And she's saying this. The original Royal Brown formula is, is from the original manufacturer, not the kaleidoscopes. We're starting a, a whole new thing, of course, and we have many ways to go. We're the only exclusive that we have the original formula drops. So the parents are like, wow, thank you. I know I probably came out rough, but it's not cool to play with people's kids. And that is what she said. That's what she did to mine as well as others. So the company that was actually the manufacturing all this is saying not a problem. Yes, especially when they have children involved, must be legit and totally honest. Let us know if you have any more questions. We are focused on doing business on honesty, integrity, and faith to our customers. Have a blessed day. So the company is saying, look, we agree with you that she shouldn't be playing with people's kids. This woman, y'all got your mom? <laughs> Make sure you get your mom. Sip now. This woman sat up here and tried to dangle opportunity in front of these kids and their parents in order for them to promote her products for basically free, for a coloring book. And so when she could not procure opportunities for them, she felt she utilized her mechanisms of, oh, they're not promoting right, and kicked kids out of the kaleidoscope thing. But this is a woman who's God-fearing and love the kids and won't do everything for the kids only if they promote her products. That's cool, but let us know that. If you if they promote the products, I think you should have paid the kids or the parents a fee. So, you know, I reached out myself, me being the shaker that I am because I'm a receipt getting my I'm a receipt getting some of a gun. And so what I did is I reached out to the most famous kaleidoscope kid, Lil James Mama. I reached out to him. Now, let me let you hear the audio to what it occurred when I talked to her on the phone. Now, this is exclusive as well. Nobody has this. I'm the only one that has this. But y'all are about to share with me now. Fee, gossip of the city. If you ain't here, you bitch, you, you make sure you give me my credit this time, sis. Because <laughs> you don't want that, you don't want that stretch up. I do got some tea on you. I'm just letting you know. I got tea on you, and you ain't gonna like it. I just been holding it, waiting for you to play with me again. So I'm letting you know. I ain't got no problem with none of the other vlog sites. I fucks with it. So, uh, but I'm talking about that fee from the city, girl. Play with me if you want to, sis. I'm letting, letting you know you're little monkey. You bitch, you. You bitch, you shirts also for sale in a t shop. <laughs> Make sure y'all go to the sip shop and get it while I pull this motherfucker up. Let's let this motherfucker roll. Hold on. Excuse my language. I curse like a sailor. My product's not for kids. I'm not going to have kids. I'm not going to have your kids on my kids running around talking about bitch Hazel and sip cosmetic. I'm not going to do it. And we're going to get into the whole thing as well. We get into everything. So, um, my apologies. I got to find the video because I'm just unorganized right now. Um, dang it. Oh, that. Oh, no. There you go. So I'm going to play the audio of the video. Also, I put a link to the entire I put, I'm going to play the audio from the conversation. Y'all can hear me and Lil James Mama on the phone as well as you're going to. The link to it is going to be also 
um in the description as well so y'all can hear it. Okay, so I asked her, can I record this? Understandably so. I asked her, can I record this? This is why I can use this permission, because I asked her if I could record it. If she had a problem with recording, she has to say no or hang up the phone. That's it. When they say you have an option, you can say no or hang up the phone. So let's get into it. Okay, so listen. She said yes, and she said she had to move out of the house. Now watch this. Okay. Say um, it. I'm um, back in Lake Charles. Lake Charles, Louisiana. Well, I'm, you know, I'm in Louisiana as well. That's why I say down here. You're not up there. You're down. Oh yeah, no, no, no. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm down here. Wait, 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 wait. Yes. Well, I'm, I'm right now in, in between New Orleans and, and Baton Rouge, but I'm actually located as I'm sitting right now. But um, I'm based out of New Orleans, of course. Oh yeah, because I was um just in Slidell. Okay. I can't even get it. 
Hey, hey, I'm about to take my kids to the zoo today, and we're going out to eat. It's going to give no money. Dang. So, Let me see. I am disgusted about Judy at this point. If you are a parent, you should be too. You utilize these kids to sell these products, sold them dreams, move this woman from her place, and then go and say this and say that his videos wasn't funny enough or this wasn't mad or they weren't long enough or too long just so you could say, oh, I don't go over there. This is a young kid. You set up there and utilize this to make us fall in love with you and your products, canola or cayenne pepper scent. If this was my kid, I would, and this is, you are trifling. for that. I hope you watch it, and I hope somebody sent this to you. You are a trifling woman for doing this to a young six-year-old. You are trifling for this, to sell a product. You should be embarrassed and ashamed of yourself. And everybody that supports you should press the unfollow button. Everybody that buy them drops should burn them. That is trifling. I'm like, no, I'm good. I'd rather us just go back home. And I told them, a nine to five ain't never feel me. I'm a mother first. This Instagram shit, I'm not worried about that. I'd rather go clock in and clock out and make my money like that. So, so I had the moves. I was like, when we, what we won't do, we can come out there and we. All right. It get worse, people. That's not it. That's bad. But it actually get worse. Let's get into it. The next part of this is you will hear her and me set up. Allow me to turn my phone on. Do not disturb. Because they keep dinging me and they're probably in here. Nothing we can talk about right now. We need to talk about what's going on right now. Don't disturb. You will hear me and James Tucker's mother set up a time to do a live interview so she can expose what this trife woman did to her. Really? So we coming out there, and my girl thinks she coming with me to the interview. We want to set it up with you on okay. an uh, interview. Okay. When do you want to do that? What's the, what day is good for you? Um, next weekend, I'll be good if you're available. I am available whenever you need. I do have a seminar that I'm a, um attending on the 14th, and I have a gig that night, but we could do it in the middle. That's the Saturday as I'm looking at my calendar. And I'm also a free, pretty much free that entire Sunday Um, if you wanted to do something as well, either or. Oh, yeah, we could do something next Sunday because we, we used to already sit down and look cute and, and, and have a talk and, and that's what, is he, is he, let me let me and let me just ask you this one last question and then I'll, I'll come on um, what i'll do is i'll have my publicist lady give you a ring is this your number right here seven one three two five no, 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 can't say this number. So. what i'll do also is her, her number will be coming from five one four is this carry on and she'll set up um the entire whatever where we'll be seated at if you need a uh directions and all that stuff like that so um i'm gonna give her a date and i have her contact you within another day or two as we set up everything but he, he is okay though is he okay like he, he happy now is that the thing yeah he's happy now we've been at home we've okay. been grandma we're with my mama we're with my whole family like they had been telling me to come back home right since before because i was pregnant and it was like they see they weren't stupid. Like right, right. anything that ever got done to my child from the situation, from the whole situation, anything that y'all ever see on the Instagram that was given to us, that's the only thing ever got given to us, that was given to my child. Wow. The uh, um the what you call it, the bike. Mm -hmm. The baby shower thing was just uh it pissed me out because on the internet. My friend was the one that got bashed, like, oh, she keep on telling us, no, don't get this, don't get that. We could literally, that's the girl that put all the shit together. Right. It was, it was kind of, yeah, I'm about to, I'm about to get all this stuff for my client, mama that's pregnant. I'm about to get all this stuff and do this, this, and that. No, that girl came up with that, that idea and called.
She's referencing the baby shower that Judy basically on the internet took a lot of credit for. And the girl saying it's her friend that put it together, not actually Judy. Judy just took credit. It's kind of like going along, like, all right, but yeah, I'm fucking with you. Okay. Wow. Yeah, life was just crazy, but he, my baby, so happy, not good. He, that's why he really don't do too much, do videos no more. Mm -hmm. And like sometimes he'll do it, we post it, but when it was just us, and it was no contract, nothing. It was fun, fun. Once he became in that contract, it was like, it was even told me, sometimes you probably got to do your child how Joe Jackson did his. You the mama. You got to make him. I got to make him. So, Jody, Jody, so James, he obviously don't need to use Kaleidoscope product. So, this is what Judy, according to this mother, this mother, Judy told this woman she needs to make her child do kaleidoscope video. Did y'all hear that? Let me rewind that just a bit because that's what this woman just said. And I just, when I. But when it was just us, and it was no contract, nothing, it was fun, fun. Once he became in that contract, it was like, it was even told me. That God wasn't ready for Lil James Tucker. Y'all hear that? I'm not the only one hear that. Huh? Judy told her that God wasn't ready for Lil James Tucker. But I'll be fucked. I didn't know Judy. I. <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> wait, wait a minute. <laughs> you, I didn't know you spoke for him. <laughs> I, I, I just didn't know that you spoke for him. This live is sponsored by Sip Cosmetics. We got the picture are coming out. It is not for kids. We're not gonna have kids promoting our product or anything like that. We're not gonna be doing. We're not gonna be playing with y'all. This is Bitch Hazel. It works. It's clear skin. It gets rid of makeup. It's a makeup remover, toner, everything all in one. We got the spray mist moisturizer. We got some stuff. Make sure you follow Sips Cosmetics on internet, on Instagram, and Twitters, and all that. And SipCosmetics.net. The website will be launching soon. Let's get into it. The blessings that she was ready to give you. Maybe God wasn't ready to give you them blessings. I know you lying. <laughs> I, just, okay. I couldn't believe that. I'm like, girl, I know you fucking lying to me. Girl, no, she didn't tell you that. I know she didn't tell you <laughs> what God was ready for. I know you. She didn't. talk about this now why am i talking about this now what i'm about to do is i'm going to call my publicist live and see what actually occurred and girl you better let's <laughs> go right here okay okay so my publicist her name is miss carrion she is um she handles most of my interviews and Hello? Hello. How you doing? All right, let's see. So she handles like if somebody, if you if you want to interview with me, you contact her. If you want me to interview you, you contact her. If you got something going on or something, that's who you contact me. She does uh like a lot of my professional stuff. Um, how you doing? Welcome to the show. You live. We all <laughs> so I got you on speakerphone. I'm so hurt for that. So um when I got the stuff, when I first talked to Miss James Tucker Mama, I passed the information on to you. Is that correct? Yeah. And you actually reached out to her to 
set up the interview that we were scheduling for next Sunday. Is that correct? Yes, I did. And what was, was and so when you finally did get in touch with her after trying to get in touch with her for the weekend and not being able to, you got in touch with her this morning, correct? Yep. All right. At eleven a.m. And what did she? And what was her thing? What did she say? Okay, well, let's start back from yesterday. Okay. I called her yesterday about setting up. I told her who I was. I said I wanted to set up an interview with you all and get y'all sizes for the shirts and stuff. So she kind of like procrastinated. I could tell, like, I just, her energy just was off for me. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, so she was like, oh, okay, well, um, so she put me on hold for like two minutes. She came back to the phone. She was like, oh, can I call you back? I'm like, okay, cool. So, you know, I was out yesterday. So I was waiting for her to call me. She never called. So this morning I called her and, you know, I told her who I was and she was like, oh, hey, uh, yeah. Uh, we can't do the interview. And I'm like, you know, why? She said, because uh, I had someone to read the contract and they said that, um, what did she say? She said that they said that they can't do no interview. So they're not going to be able to do it. And I said, oh, well, I didn't know y'all had a contract or whatever, stuff like that. And she was like, yeah, you know, we can't do it. And I'm like, okay, like, but I don't know what they told her. Because she had a little pettiness in her voice. Like, she was, like, smirking. Like, yeah, we can't do it. And I'm like, okay. I said, wow, you know, I wish y'all the best, whatever. So, in the future, whenever y'all want, you know, do it. You know, just, you have my number. Say my number. Just call me. She was like, okay, well, thank you. And she hung up. Uh, and, and that's that. And then, of course, you called me and explained it to me. We attempted to call her and contact her on three way and did not get in touch with her. Is that about it? That's about right high with? Yep. Okay. And I, she sent you the voicemail. She sent me she didn't me. want to vote, she and I'm it. sure and that would call you back. All right. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Uh, and I'm, cause I'm going to get to the next part. Uh, thank you, Ms. Karen, my, my publicist and a real good publicist. Um, <laughs> she's loves the super. She's a super herself. She ain't missing the beat. Okay. So, you know me. <laughs> I wasn't too much tripping because I got the majority of the tea in the conversation we had that you gave me your permission to record. But I contacted a friend of mine who is close with them to find out what was going on with this contract. And this is what they told me. In the long run, the contract Lil Jane's mama signed means that Judy controls the Lil Jane brain. So even if she's not doing something with him, nobody else can until they buy Judy out. It was a bad deal that was one-sided to begin with. And I quote. So if she didn't have to offer money, all she had to do was say, listen, the contract that you signed means that you cannot do anything with nobody else. You cannot talk to nobody else. You cannot do nothing for nobody else unless it's through me. They have to pay me in order to pay me. Judy, according to my insider with that's close to Judy, they're saying, who will remain alive, they're saying that, and, 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 and this, is, this is what I believe to be true because there was some cryptic posts and messages and hints that was given to us from their camp throughout the weekend once they found out that Lil Jane's mama was going to come and talk about how this woman utilized Dangle, sold them a dream, Dangle money and riches in front of this little young man's face. Dangled in order to sell canola oil. This is a horrible situation. Now, I, so you, we're looking at this woman. So why is it important for her? So this is what I did too. I also, let's get girl, you know, T's and eyes. Um, where is it? 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 
All right, that's not what I'm looking for. <laughs> that's not what I'm looking for. Hold on, give me one second, y'all. Is this it? All right. So I contacted. So as y'all know, I'm coming out with my own products, <laughs> the bitch hazel. And so I have a supplier that's in St. Petersburg, Florida, because none of my stuff is coming from China. Bring Corona over here, like somebody else's products. I ain't gonna say no names. I ain't gonna say no names. Colors. I ain't gonna say no names. I'm not gonna be shady. Colors. I'm not gonna be no shade crayons. I'm not gonna say no names or be shady. Stupid. I'm not gonna say no names. Viney. I'm not gonna say no names. Big old nose. I ain't gonna say no names. And I'm not gonna be shady. But I'm coming out with my own products. My products are based in America. So what I did was I sent over a copy of the Kaleidoscope products in an email that the, 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 the ingredients for the Kaleidoscope brand and asked my supplier to ask a dermatologist on their staff if it was safe for children. Because I'm like, why are you having these kids promote this stuff? Like, what the hell is going on? I don't market my products for children. They're not for, they're not for children. My products is for adults. It's called bitching. On the pod, I say bad bitch approved. That's what I say. On the bottom. <laughs> yeah, I promote my stuff. Can I promote my stuff? Marketing genius too. Girl, <laughs> she's the only one. So um, this is what they said to me. And I'm going to bring in Malcolm for uh, just a brief moment to uh, um, go ahead and uh, read it out for us what this says. Malcolm, where you at, babe? While nothing in the ingredients you sent me is dangerous or harmful to children, I don't recommend applying anything chemical to children under eight. And if the child is over eight, I still recommend seeking the advice of a licensed dermatologist. Children, especially prepubescent ones, have natural variations in their hair and skin due to changes in hormone balance that occurs from their transitioning into adulthood. As this occurs at different times for every single child, the only person that can make the determination about any particular product is a medical professional familiar with that child. I do not advocate these types of products being marketed by or by or for children. So I, what I did, thank you, Malcolm, I appreciate that. And I'm glad you wasn't too, too shady today. But what I did was sent over her ingredients list and X, could I get something like that made especially and marketed to children? And so they told me basically, no, that's dumb. Because even though nothing in there is dangerous or harmful to children, and this is a board certified dermatologist, he says, uh, in Florida, of course, he says, I don't recommend applying anything that's chemical related to children under eight. And he does not advocate marketing these types of products for or by children. Why on earth is this woman marketing this for and by kids when only this and this is what they're saying um, only a medical professional familiar with your child can tell you what's good for your child because children go through hormonal variations in this words natural variations in their hair and skin due to changes in hormones and only your medical professional can make a determination on maybe what a product is for for them because they know them. And, and your child might be different. Your child maybe go through people that 10, hers might go 12, mine might go 40. I don't know. In the, in the case of Beach, it's 900. Um, you never know. And so what, what, what it is, it says, so, so the company that I deal with, they don't recommend these types of products being marketed for or by children. Yet and still, yet and still, this is what we have going on. This is what we have going on. This is what we have going on. Let me let me let me go. Let me go. This is what we have going on. One of our little sisters holding a kaleidoscope by. Sister, you don't need that. This woman has literally sat there, lied directly to these vulnerable children and parents saying that 
they had an opportunity coming and that she was going to be the champion of their life. She has took a woman and influenced her to promote her products, told her quit her job in order to force their her child into doing the bidding of their of her company. This is not just horrific, it's downright trash. And y'all told that she is the marketing genius. She then probably threatened this woman and told her, don't do this interview because I got the contract and he ain't getting out of it. Free the kids. Free them kaleidoscope kids. Let them be. Let Lil James and all the rest of them that you're holding hostage to do the bidding of selling your product because, see, she thinks that we're going to buy it because who going to send over to the baby? Nobody. Okay, I'm going to buy it, the baby one. I got it. One of her insiders is saying the contract is one-sided to her side. Let little James free. He can't do nothing. He can't talk to nobody. He can't do nothing unless it's coming through her. Free little James. Free all the Kalata kids. Free them. They should be forced to peddle your product if you really care about kids. If they like it and they use it and they like the coloring books and all that stuff, that's fine. Let them. But if you really care about the kids, you would do it without them having, without forcing them and using the fact that they have an opportunity and dangling in front of their mama's face and saying, okay, you got to peddle my products in order to get an opportunity. And that probably doesn't exist. Let's get into the email because the woman said that the context that they got was fake. You are utilizing, you are doing this, and then you put these children in some situations where they cannot get out. Freedom kids. I call it Kalata Concentration Camp. They got to promote your products on Black Friday or they're going to get put out. You're dangling an opportunity that doesn't even exist. This is horrific. She is trash. And Anybody that supports that is as trash as her. For all they can say about me and my body, and as much as they don't like me, one thing we do over here is we talk the truth and we have real live receipts. That's what we do. Freedom kids. Freedom kids. It's not about me. It's not about anything. It's not about what I think about it. Freedom kids. Show us you a real woman for one time. Show us that you really care about the kids and, and, and support them regardless if they toting up your product. Post one that ain't toting up your products. They, and they just doing something positive with themselves. Talk one, post one that's doing something at the park. Use your influence and your reach to say, okay, you might not be holding a kaleidoscope product, so I'm a, but on your but I, but guess what? You're doing something good. You you whatever you're doing, let me post that. Show us you care about kids and not just care about selling. Canola Earl mixed with cayenne pepper. Freedom churn. Freedom. Freedom churn. And I know, and for the parents, I love y'all. And I know how it is. It's hard out here. We believe in a lot of stuff that we do. And so with somebody of such great, so, so we think, such great money, power, and influence. See, she did a good job of making y'all think that she was such a good god fearing hallelujah woman. She didn't tell y'all how she'd be riding up and down on dildos, but that's a whole other thing. You go get read Dion book for that. <laughs> Never let go who you are. <laughs> and she didn't tell you that day. But she makes you believe in the falsity, in the facade that she's just wonderful, outstanding soul. When in, <laughs> and so when the she comes at you and says, look, I'm going to change your life. You go sign on a dotted line. Supposedly millionaire, multi-millionaire. Come say, let me change your life. You you think, oh, you're a guy for every moment. You do you you talk, they talk about you at the church. They do this, that, and the other. You will have the funny videos. Oh, you miracle drops, drop, drop, drop. Everybody talk about it. all these influences, everybody. And so the parents say, okay, let's get in this because we want to be a part of something bigger than ourselves. 
and this woman lying, conniving. Don't let the boy out of the contract. You move these people out there. No, don't go. Go quit the job. Come over here. Let let, let little Jane. The video is not funny. You gotta make him do it funny. What? Video is not long enough. Gotta make him longer. That makes sense. What? What? You're trifling. You're trifling for that. Homegirl, you are trifling for that. Before I freedom churn. Freedom churn. We want you to free. If you freedom churn, freedom churn, do the right thing. Freedom churn. Go take Lil James contract and say, look, baby, you can do, do you. It didn't work out for us. And that's happened. It's business. It didn't work out for us. Go freedom churn. It didn't work out for us here. Go find another opportunity that's more suited for you. That's okay to do. Don't lock him in the contract, threaten his mama. You better not do that interview. You can't do nothing. Buy it out. If you pay them in advance and all this other stuff that you think you did, not take it take out. Freedom churn. That's wrong. That's wrong and you need to do it. This MC Shaky, I'm signing up. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram at MC Shaky Live, Twitter at MC Shaky Live, Snapchat at MC Shaky Live. Uh, follow Sip Cosmetics, all of y'all mugs. Like, share, and comment. I love y'all and good night.